Oh, I'm gonna rehearse Courtney. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Okay, seriously, take 500. Calm yourself. I know I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Still not toning it in. Okay. Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Ah! <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Why am I such a spaz? I just. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like. This is probably the equivalent of a kid finding out they're going to Disney World. Okay. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Courtney and today is the day. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's my big craft room reveal. If you are new, you're probably wondering why I'm a spaz. And that is because my sweet subscribers have been waiting for this video forever <laughs> okay i'm just so excited i cannot wait to show you i will not babble on for forever but i did want to say this first of all thank you for your patience um i put all of my heart into this room uh if you don't know this by now about me i am an overthinker 100 percent overthink everything that is just part of my process um some people that stresses them out. I know some people have commented, hey, stop overthinking it, but that's just what I do. I like to think of every possibility, make sure it's what I want because in the end what happens is then I'm done. I am completely done with the project. There are no regrets. There are no, I wish I'd done, you know, all that good stuff. I'm 100% in love with the project and that is the case with this room. I mean, everything in this room had a lot of thought behind it and I'm just I'm ecstatic like I just want to live in here forever so I'm gonna take you through the room show you guys um, so I did a bunch of different little DIYs for this if it's a DIY I've done on my channel I will link those down in the description box um, if it's something that I made specifically for the room I tried to take before pictures of the item so if you have questions about that feel free to ask me I'll be happy to answer them and oh my gosh okay I'm so excited no more talking let's just get into the video I'm so excited to see what you guys think about it and okay here we go my new craft room yay all right so walking into my craft room these are sorry about the lighting our entryway lighting is really bad these are the hoop roofs I made over the past weekend um most everything came from Hobby Lobby except for the burlap, which I already had, and that was from Dollar Tree. So I just made two of those to put on the two doors. Now let's go in. There's Piper, anxiously awaiting. All right, so as you walk in to the left, I have, you guys saw this little DIY. It's my little shiplap and bead. Um, memo board I guess you could call it I don't know what to call it but there's that and then I just have a little hanging plant um, I got that from home goods and then the hangers from Hobby Lobby and then coming around here this is probably the most important shelf in my craft room um, this is a built-in I had it painted and let me just scan down so you can kind of see what it looks like Oops, chairs in the way, sorry about that. All right, this is the stuff I access most often. So basically at the very top, um, I have my favorite author's books, Sophie Kinsella, I love her books. Then I've got my sewing machine. I am not much of a sewer, so I don't really need to access it much, but I did make a little sticker. It says, I'm so fancy. Um, I know, you guys know me and my like hokey sayings, they just crack me up. And then these boxes are from Michael's. Now you're gonna notice any of the boxes in here right now that have these little label things. I do not have them labeled yet because I am still trying to make sure everything is where I want it to be. So once I know that, um, I will go back and label these. This was just black and I painted it with that Serenity Blue chalk paint. And then here is my glue gun and glue stick stash. These baskets were from the Target Dollar Spot. That's full of glue guns. That's full of glue guns. Yeah, I bet you guys didn't realize that I have a lot of glue guns. Um, that's why I'm wanting to do a mini series so you guys can kind of see that. And then here I've just got um, burlap and lace, twine and random things to tie with, a little bucket of scissors. These came from Target Dollar Spot. And then my other little um, 
scissors that I've done in some DIYs that have the different cuts. So I've got those and that. And then all my pens um, and these two things. Again, I bet you guys didn't realize I had so many pens. I don't really craft with them very much. Um, they were mostly for like when I was doing hardcore bullet journaling, which I haven't really been doing a lot of. Um, but I've got all kinds of pens. And then this is like my glue stash. All the different types of glues. Um, my E6000. And then the ugly glues hide right here. So like my spray adhesive, my fabric protector, and my E6000 spray adhesive. Stash of Dollar Tree nautical rope. Raffia burlap. And then on the bottom, which I did want to show you guys this. So um, I do have a plug down here, which is great because I plug my glue gun and my little light here. It's my, I'm blind as a bat light and I need it. But this right here, this surge protector. So, um, a company actually reached out to me. It was on one of the items I knew I needed to buy for this room. And they reached out to me, asked me if I wanted to pick one of their items. And I did pick this and I love it guys. I, um, it is a travel version. So you, the cord rolls up, tucks away. It's great for travel. Um, it has the USB, so I'm able to plug my light in, my glue gun in, um, and charge my phone, and you just simply push this down to turn it on and off, and then I now I have an extra plug there, so I absolutely love it. Um, I will link down below the information if you're looking for one, but if you go on cruises or travel a lot, this is really, it's really great. It's lightweight. It has the silicone protector, so thank you so much for sending this to me. I am really liking it. Um, and then this is just like where I keep little containers for stuff. I've got my cleaning supplies here, my all purpose cleaner. I just wiped down my table. It's Mrs. Myers. I made a little sticker for it with my Cricut. And then this is the rubbing alcohol when I'm applying vinyl. I have that there. And then my basket of like random wooden stuff. So there we go. So everything I access very frequently is just right here. And literally my table is right next to it. So it works out really, really well. Okay, sorry about the camera. <laughs> um, but there you go. That's what's on this shelf, um, my most used items. And then in here, it's like, uh, you know, popsicle sticks, buttons. Um, and then here are some gadgets and stuff. You guys will see those in that mini series I'm planning on doing. Um, so there we go. That's this little corner of the room. All right, let's keep trucking along here. All right, so the wall next to the bookshelf is this wall right here. Just pan it very quickly for you. It's got my windows. I love the natural light. I just got those white shears at Home Goods, and then I had this little bedside table. It was just a natural, unfinished um, table, and I stained it with the dark walnut min wax, and I added these little knobs from Hobby Lobby. And then inside I just keep little notebooks and journals and um, things like that. And then in the drawer, I've got a coaster. I need to take my jewelry off. That's for a bunko craft I need to do. And then on top, I just have some little decor. This is one of those little pencil holders. I got it at Home Goods, so it holds my remotes. And then I just made some little felt flowers. And the lamp I picked up a long time ago from Hobby Lobby. And then probably the most um, thing, or most thing, the thing I'm most excited about is this chair. Okay. Um, I think I posted a picture of it on social media. So this chair I'm pretty sure is meant for a nursery. Um, it is a recliner. It rocks, it glides, it swivels, it turns, and it is so comfortable. I got it on Wayfair. I absolutely love it. And it is now my reading chair, my relaxing chair. And then I had this throw pillow a long time. Um, it's from Home Goods, and then my little throw that's white and this color, teal color stripe. So that is my chair. And then behind the chair, I have my really large chalkboard, which I really don't write on a lot because I haven't seasoned it, so I can't use chalk markers on it yet. I just need to do that, but then I plan on using it. And then I just made a little tassel with some pop of pink, and then again with the teal color. Just made that with embroidery thread. And then you guys have seen my little letter board. And then really the only other thing on this wall hiding behind my chair is my little uh, tripod that I use for filming. So that's what that looks like. 
and there's a plug behind it. That plug is on a switch, which is nice. So um, when I walk into the room, it turns on this lamp, which is awesome. And that's pretty much all that is on this wall right here. I did want to show you my fan. I actually just had to refilm this because my fan is so powerful, it was picking up on camera. But this is my fan. Um, it is mason jars. And funny story, my electrician was here installing it, and he called me. I don't know if y'all can see that. He called me, and he's like, hey, this fan is ruined. It's got scratches all over it. Well, if you can kind of see on the blades, see how there's like, okay, I'm going to put my finger up here. Like right there. It's like distressed. Yeah, he thought that was like a mistake. He's like, yeah, it's ruined. And I, I, I wasn't home and I was like, oh great. Okay, well don't put it up. So I got home and then he was packing up and I looked at it and I was like, Mark, it's supposed to be like that. So he didn't quite understand the distress, but it is a very farmhousey type fan. So if you're looking for one, I got it at Home Depot. It's got mason jars. The only thing about it that I wish it had was my old craft room. The fan was on a remote. And I really like that. I could change the speed. I could turn the light on and off. So I do miss that. But yeah, I really do like that fan. So it was a little pricey. I think it was like $169 or $179. But there we go. So that's this wall right here. Okay, when you walk into the right, there's this little kind of half wall thing. It is behind the door. So um, that's kind of a bummer, but on here, I just have a little bulletin board with some random things on it um, that I like. And then this right here, I just want to say, John Christ, if you've never heard of him before, he's a comedian, Christian based, no cussing. He is hilarious. He has a YouTube channel. I've seen him on tour. He is so funny. Check him out if you need a good laugh. He has very quick little short videos. There's one about... Um, I, my favorites are the football coach, that one, and then there's one about um, if uh, Bible characters had cell phones or something like that. It's so funny. But anyway, John Christ, if you're looking for a good laugh, check him out. And then, um, unfortunately, when my electrician was here, the only place he could put this was right behind the door. So that is kind of a bummer, but it's okay. My lights are on a dimmer, which I like. Um, recessed lights, and then this is just for the ceiling fan. And then here is just a little picture board. Basically, it's all the most important people in my life. So that's my mama, my son, my oldest daughter, the hubs, my brother and me, Chris Stapleton, my daughter. She's the one that's very crafty, that likes to craft like me. And then my dad and then my best friend, Diane. I do need to add a picture of Lucky and Piper on here, but I do have a tutorial I'm planning to do on making a board like this. So keep your eye out for that. That's all that's on this little wall to the right when you walk in. All right, and to the right of that little wall is the wall of built-ins. So I know on social media, I shared about how stinky the oil-based paint was. And someone was like, why are you using oil-based paint? Well, it's because if you are going to paint on oil-based paint, you either A, put oil-based paint on top of it, or B, you have to sand it, strip it down if you wanna use latex. And I really did not wanna deal with the sanding mess that that would create. So that is why I put up with the smell because I didn't wanna put up with the mess. So there you go. All right, so right here on this part of the counter, I've just got my different paints here. There's actually a bunch missing right now because they're on my craft table at the moment. And then my little sign here that I made, I showed you guys that on, Inst um, I think on Instagram. Did I see that? Yeah, I think so. I of the bamboo cutting board from Dollar Tree. And someone did want to see a close-up of the glue gun. I just sprayed it with galvanized uh, tin spray paint and then just did the cream brown wax. And it's funny, someone did comment on Facebook. They're like, how old is that glue gun? So I accomplished what I was trying to, which was to make it look old. So there we go. All right, then above that, are my big cans of chalk paint and these brushes. Now you guys have probably, I don't think you've ever seen me use these brushes. That's because these are specific to finish refur uh, furnish to furniture refinishing. That's all I use these for as well as waxing, the round ones for waxing. And then I've just got my mallet back there and then I've got some chalk and this was one of my dork crafts as my mom calls it. So yes, you guys have seen me use this to open my cans. And yes, I white, I uh, wrap twine around it because why not? So there you go. I'll show you my other door craft in a second, but there you go. 
And then here are some pictures of my babies. She is now um, almost 17. And then I've shared that picture before because it just makes me so happy. Like, oh, and she's my girl that loves to craft. And then this is just a basket of ribbon, which I don't access. Like I said, I put a lot of thought into where to place items. So I don't get that very much. Um, so that's why it's kind of up higher. And then those two containers are empty, but I did pick them up from Hobby Lobby and I added the stickers. And then that's just extra Jenga blocks and a container I got from Michael's. And then those up there are Dollar Tree shipping boxes that I added burlap ribbon to and the little nameplates from Target Dollar Spot. This has got burlap in it, um, paint, extra overflow, sanding, and then here is more paint stuff. So in here, I just have this cute little basket with some palettes. Um, and then here, these were just glass vases from Dollar Tree that I wrapped with nautical rope. These are my larger brushes. These are my smaller. I put Dollar Tree rocks in here, just, you know, those round brown pebbles, all those rocks. And basically what that does is two things. It kind of helps hold the brushes in place. And it makes it to where when you rinse off brushes, you don't have to, you know, leave them by the side of the sink, let them dry, put them on a paper towel. You actually can put them right back in these containers because the rocks absorb any water or residue, you know, stuff that might drip down, it absorbs it. So that way you can just use the paintbrush, rinse it out and stick it right back where it belongs. So that's what those are. And then underneath that, I have this little container I got from Home Goods, and it's all my foam brushes. So large, smaller, and then small stencil, large stencil. And then that was just a little candle thing that I painted with the Serenity Blue Chalk Paint from Dollar Tree and added some twine. All right, going up the middle section here is just my desk calendar, my TV. This little canvas I got from Dollar Tree, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was so cute. So I've got that. This is kind of my decorative down the middle here. Um, a little sign, I did a DIY on that, a DIY on that. Pictures of me and the hubby, and then my initials. And then moving over here, the Random Things uh, crate I got from Kirkland's. They actually had a whole bunch, and I was super excited because I had a $10 rewards credit, and so it only cost me like, I think two or two dollars to get it or something like that. That's got burlap. This, this is my other dork craft right here. So these are my oil pastels. And of course I didn't want to have the ugly box on the shelf. So I just wrapped it with some Dollar Tree brown um, wrapping paper and tied the twine, made the little label. And then here are just random chalk markers. I made the felt flower. This is a little twine holder. And then this was just a mason jar that I just painted, added a tassel and that's just Dollar Tree flowers. And then right below that, um, is my sign and my Bose speaker. And then moving to the last part of the counter, that was a DIY I did. Okay, here's a close up of the jars. They all have um, words attached, and then this again are the knobs that match the little nightstand. And I think they were on clearance because these, some of the cork ones, you couldn't get these out. So I just added it like that. And look, there's my Rubik's Cube. Um, yeah, I just added those to it and now I can open them. And funny enough, all the ones up on top, they're currently empty right now, but these were so cheap. Like this one was a dollar, the medium size was like $2 and the large was three, I think. So it was a really good deal. And then I did a DIY on this, you guys saw that. And then here is just a magnetic board I got from Target Dollar Spot. That's from Dollar Tree, which doesn't have anything on it. And that's my essential oil burner. I really love it. Um, I like that it changes colors. So um, yeah, that's right there. And then um, quickly, I do have little under counter lights. Now I did not want to mess with wired lights. So these are ones that run on batteries. They have a remote that you can turn them on and off and a timer. I got them at Home Depot. So I really do like those. And then above that are all my beads. I do like to work with the beads. Okay, this little random elephant very quickly. Um, so my grandmother was a very talented artist. She could draw, she could paint, I mean, just very gifted. And she was one of those grandmas who always wore like these rhinestone earrings and jewelry. She had the big clip-on earrings, you know, the sweatshirts that had all the flowers with glitter and yeah, that was her. And she was a diehard Republican, loved elephants. And so this is kind of my little um, channeling my inner mammal creativity so I can look at it while I'm crafting. I absolutely love that. 
And then here's a picture of my son. Ugh, look how cute he is. He's such a monkey. All right, there he is. And then that's just Dollar Tree. And then this was a gift. I absolutely love this. This is actually a very nice little crafting activity you could do if you need a gift for grandparents or something. It's one of those little kits you can get. And basically my parents gave this to me for Christmas two years ago and you're, you know, they stick their hands in it for like, I think it's like five minutes and then you pull it out and it makes it, um, it's the plaster. So I absolutely love it. And then that's just more ribbon and then files and more containers up there. Again, those are empty. And then that's pretty much everything on the shelves. Now I'm not going to go into detail about <laughs> All the supplies in the cabinets and drawers. I mean, if you want to know what's in there, just feel free to ask me. But it's just basically um, supplies. Now, I did want to explain this right here. So, this little wooden pallet thing. I just grabbed a bunch of scrap wood from my garage. Stained it. And then very quickly just um, tacked on the little crossbars. And what this basically is, is it's hiding all of my projects. So, you guys know that um, in my old craft room, I had bins. When I would buy supplies for my craft, um, for different craft projects, I would put them in the bin so I kind of had all the stuff together and that's how I stored them. Well, I don't, I didn't want to do that and like take up space on my counter here with that. So basically they're all stored right here. This also kind of keeps me in check so that I don't go overboard just buying supplies for projects and then never making them. And these boxes are from Dollar Tree guys, these little file boxes. I mean, come on. Dollar Tree is killing it. So there we go. I have all the supplies for different projects in there. And then I just attached a little whiteboard right here to the back of it um, that matches that metallic one again from Target. And then I just have little felt pads. I had thought about permanently attaching this to the um, built-ins, but I just didn't want to do that in case I decided I wanted to use it as a desk. So there we go, guys. This is my wall of built-ins. All right, so from the built-ins is this main kind of focal point wall. And if you see my computer there, I'm actually editing this video right now. I'm having to reshoot this wall part right here because my fan is so loud, it sounded like I was in a wind tunnel, like seriously. So I had to turn it off, that crazy fan. It puts off a lot of wind, let's just say that. All right, so let me talk you through what's going on over here. So these were in my old craft room. This is the Alex system from Ikea. So I've just got the desk here and then the nine drawer system. This is kind of just my office-y stuff, um, some files, planning stuff. And then I've got my Mac, obviously, um, my Cricut. This little pen holder thing came from Ikea and then I just made um, stickers for it on my Cricut. And then here I have my little three tier tray with a random assortment of items. Um, I love Snoopy if you don't know that by now. And I have like several different Snoopies for different holidays. So that's one little decor item that I'll change out as the different holidays approach. And then this was a DIY I did on my channel. And then I've just got my sketchbook, my DIY notebook and my Bible and a uh, ladybug vacuum. Yes, you guys know that. My birdie scissors specialty pens, got a candle and my essential oils back there. And then kind of hidden between these two are super large um, canvases and some of the brown um, craft packing paper, whatever you want to call it from Dollar Tree. And then on the back side of this are 3M hooks and that is where I hang all of my Cricut mats so that they're out of sight and I don't have to look at them. <laughs> so that's where those are. And then here I just have a crate with, guess what, more canvases. Hey, all right. And then I love this chair. So this blanket I showed you guys, I think it was on my Facebook Live, I showed you that I got it for super cheap at Marshall's because it was in the Christmas clearance stuff. But this chair is so cute. It's got tufted with buttons. It turns. And then it's got the great kind of grayed stressed um, distressed, not stressed, but <laughs> distressed legs. And I have to say, I will be very excited when I get my floors done because rolling this on carpet is not really fun. And I really just don't want to buy one of those big plastic things to roll it on. So I'll be glad when the floors are done so I can roll that around a lot easier. And then let's talk about this. So this right here, um, is the sign that probably really is what held up my craft and reveal. So I knew once I, in my head, designed out my sign, exactly what I wanted. 
Um, and I really thought I was going to be able to make it all myself. So basically, I just got the wood round from Home Depot and I stained it with weathered oak. This is the same stain that's on my farm table. And then I got um, frustrated. I, I couldn't do this roll saw. I should have known I couldn't, but I tried and I'm just not at that level. So I reached out to an Etsy shop, told her what I wanted. She cut the letters, sent it to me. I painted them. And then as I was laying it out, I was like, I need something else on this thing. So then once again, <laughs> I reached out to her with a picture of something I liked and she cut that for me. Then I got it and I painted and I attached it and then it's done. So I'm very happy with how it turned out. I really, really like it. And then these planners came from Hobby Lobby in the spring section. And then the flowers are Dollar Tree. And then the greenery is Hobby Lobby. And one of my little tricks with that is anytime the swags, let me get a little closer here. These swags go on sale, which they were on sale last week, half off. I buy them and then I can get so many projects made. So for $10 um, is what cost, uh, what it costs to get that swag. I made these two planners. I made the two wreaths on my doors and I have extra left over. So that is a little... Um, trick I like to do about kind of stocking up with greenery is buying the swags instead of just sometimes individual picks. But there we go, guys. There is my sign. Let me know what you think about a palette wall right here. Do you think that would look good? Because honestly, I'm kind of thinking something like this to kind of match that to a couple different shades. And so that's kind of what I'm thinking, but I don't know. I really don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below. All right, wanted to show you this last little thing here. So here is my work table. Um, it is smaller than what I had before, but it is a counter high table, which I really wanted because I do like to stand. It is painted in the Serenity Blue chalk paint, and I've already scratched it because I was impatient and didn't do two coats of wax on it yet. But it was this, let's see if I'm focused it, there you go. Like this really yucky orange color. And so I painted it, but obviously I need to go ooh, focus, go back and fix that. So this is my table, 36 by 36. The bar stools were from Wayfair. They kind of have a little nail trim on them. It's my little back support thing. And this is probably the silliest feature of this table, which my kids think um, is goofy and my husband. Uh, yes, I do have one of these little under counter lights right here because I do drop little things and Sometimes I just can't find stuff. And with the carpet, especially still, it really does actually help. So I've already had to use it to find a teeny tiny little staple that I dropped in the carpet. But I probably won't need it as much once I get the floor done. But uh, yeah, goofy little feature, but I like it. <laughs> so this is my workspace. And then really the last little wall that doesn't really have anything on it just has my clock, which is right above the door. So I'm gonna reposition myself and I'll do one more span of the room for you guys. All right, let me shut this door. The last little pan of the room here. So there we go. To the right, you walk in and see all my built-ins. Then my little sign and my computer. I'm editing right now. My chair. Shelf that has all my most used supplies, my clock, and where the magic happens, my work table. So there we go. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, thank you so much for the patience you shared and showed. Um, while I tried to get this room done, it means so much. And yeah, I'm just ready to DIY, guys. All right. Until next time, see you later.